Hello, this is Jolly Wombat from the Vertex Cerebra Forums. Today we're going to show you how to set up Wi-Fi on your Cerebra and do some advanced settings. First, we're going to go ahead to the menu button on the right side of the unit and click on System Settings. From there, we're going to go to Wireless and Networks. And we're going to make sure that the Wi-Fi is turned on if it is not already done. We're going to go ahead and hit the checkbox there and it'll say Turning On. And it's now checked and good to go. Let's go into Wi-Fi Settings. In here, we'll see all the networks in range that it's currently detecting. We're going to go ahead and scroll down to find the network I set up for this. It's going to be called Vertex Cerebra. You're going to select whatever network you have at your home, and we're going to go ahead and connect to that. We need to go ahead and enter in the password for the Wi-Fi. You can go ahead and click Show Password to make sure that you've typed it in correctly and didn't make any mistakes. Go ahead and hit Connect. It's going to go through a short process here where it authenticates to your Wi-Fi, and we can see this up above here. It'll obtain an IP address, and then it'll connect. You should see the three little or four little bar, Wi-Fi bars in the top corner there, and it'll say connected. Now we're going to do some advanced settings for the wireless to help some folks out. We're going to go and hit the menu button again, and then click on advanced. In here, we're, we're going to start with the Wi-Fi sleep policy and set this to never. This has been causing some folks some issues. Next up, take note of your IP address that it states there. We're going to use this in the future. Let's go ahead and hit the checkbox for use static IP. And we're going to hit the IP address field there. We're going to type in that same IP address that you saw on the left there. In my case, it's 172.16.1.4. You'll enter in whatever that you have. Hit OK. Next up, we're going to set up the gateway, which is just means uh, your router IP. So it'll be, in my case, 172.16.1.1. Typically, for your network, it'll always be a .1 as well. Next up, we're going to set the net mask, also known as a subnet mask. For most networks, this will be 255.255.255.0. Next up, we'll set up DNS servers. For this example, we're going to use Google Public DNS, but you can use others if you choose. This will work fine for you, however, if you choose to use it. 8.8.8.8. .8 we'll have a brief interruption and connection here as it applies some of those settings. And we're back. You do not have to enter in the DNS2 if you do not wish, but you can. If you choose to do so, you can use the secondary Google Public of 8.8.4.4. .4. Go ahead and hit OK. And that's it. All the static and static settings are applied, and we should be good to go now. Let's hop back into the previous menu. You can show that we're still connected, show our link speed, signal strength, and the IP address that it currently has. That's all we need. We can go ahead and exit out, and you're all set. Thank you very much for sticking with me.